Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome, for the first time on the podcast, musician and ex-Scientologist, Laura FM. Did I do it right? Yeah, that was I, great. Uh, yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. You got the name right. That was I good. did? Laura? Some people, yes. Uh, yeah, you Laura. said it perfectly. Okay, cool, for cool. For those who have difficult time saying it. Mm-hmm. So, well, what do you got? Difficult. What are you wearing there? What does that stand for? What is SPTV. Cool? This is my little merch. A fan of mine made the logo, and I printed it up through my merch shop. And that's a Scientology term, right? Uh, SPTV. S- Suppressed... Pr- Person. Suppressive, person. suppressive person, uh, and TV, television. But we kind of made that up, uh, just being a community of kids and children, or ex Sea Org members, ex Scientologists that mm. left Scientology that are speaking out, telling their stories. Yeah, and they talk about it on YouTube. Right, and right, right. So we've created a thing. It's a network. A network. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, of people who call themselves, and it can be anybody, it can be people even that are supporting, they're just able to say, oh, if you look up SBTV, you can hear other people's stories, yeah. kids' stories that grew up in it, people that were disconnected, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, just since you brought it up, like you have a crazy, was it, I don't know if it's a viral video, but a lot of people paid attention to uh, when you're up on the boulevard and you ran into your father. Yeah. So we were protesting and it was one of the first times that I uh, went to go protest the Shrine Auditorium here in, in Los Angeles where I knew that they always do their New Year's events every year. You know, they have the Scientology New Year's event at the mm-hmm. Shrine Auditorium. And um, I just knew that part of that for all the years that I was a child raised, quote unquote, in I, I always feel weird saying a child raised in it because I feel like being raised feels like an endearing term, which wasn't happening with children. And, but you were a kid when you're in Scientology. Yeah, but you're not allowed to be a child in Scientology. Uh, you're? You ha- no, you're, they don't even consider. It's actually un, it's degrading to act like a child or be a child but, in but Scientology. But you are a kid. In the outside world, this is this oh, is where gonna, we need to oh, to make people that. aware of yeah, this. So yeah, we're gonna this get into it. This is where we get into the child trafficking yeah. and the the slavery of children and making them do things that. So they, why would they, they be doing this twenty years later? And so not the dark. Is, it, there's a real dark side to it. There's m- very dark. In fact, there's nothing about Scientology that isn't manipulative and dark. They try to extort money from me. I went into their office That's once the norm. That's the normal thing that they're going to do that they find is normal, that they, they think they, is normal. They straight like, up asked me how much I had in my account. Yeah, that's and a I, normal and I, thing. And I paused and I said, my mom and dad don't even ask me that. Yeah. Like, then, what? It, why are you asking me that? And and they don't even understand the uncomfortability of that. Like, the, uh, the boundary th- that they they're They think crossing. that's okay to ask someone They're that? like, well, you shouldn't have a button. You shouldn't have an issue with not talking about money. That's a thing we're going to help you with. Dude, I had a, I think I gave them something, a $15. I gave do them something. Do something. You have to do I something to, to kind of get out and I be like, all right, to. let me think about it. They were... Let they me were, think about if I'm going to tell you how much is in my account. Like a dog on a bone. They were... <laughs> yeah, I could not leave their facility. Yeah. So... So let's get into it. So so let's go back to the yeah. seeing my dad, right, mm-hmm. protesting. I felt very vulnerable, very vulnerable. I felt I did. I swear to God, I was having like a slow panic attack. And it was not an attack of being like, because I'm a singer. I, I perform. I, I understood the difference between being like, you know, having butterflies and excitement and yeah. going on stage mm-hmm. and confusing that with anxiety or something or having what I felt. And I was just like, why do I feel so nauseous? Why when do I feel catch, so weird? When did you when did you catch him? Like, did, did you recognize him right away? No, no, no. So I'm I, I wasn't even sure if I was gonna go. I was just excited that I heard streets talking to AA Ron, one of my good friends, Aaron. Yo, yo, up. shout out to AA A. A. Ron. Ron. Yo, I'm a fan of AA Ron. Huge fan of AA yo, Ron. <laughs> we love AA Ron here at the Stevie Weeby show. If you're ever in LA, brother, I got you Korean barbecue, brother. And all come of on. us, let's yeah, all yeah. go. And come on through, bro. I got oh, you. Would love to be I on love him. AA Run. Support yeah, his we channel. Love AA yeah, Run. I'm a Growing fan. up in Scientology Yo, on YouTube. Dope content. But continue. 
So I saw Streets LA on A.A. Ron's show talking about uh, Streets going like, you know, Aaron saying, hey. Wait, William? Uh, William, yeah. Yo, we love William Good here too. Streets LA. Yo, that's the neighborhood homie. We love William Good in, the, we in love these parts. William. Yeah. Such a sweet soul, mm-hmm. so educational. Enforcer. Like, he's literally, yeah. Enforcing and it. showing you when emotional anger or resentment should be used and mm. is very valid. Mm-hmm. Like, it also made it like it's not okay to hold people's uh, emotions and tell them, like, when they're allowed to do things. That is also manipulative yeah. and very inhumane to the human. Right. When, Human emotions should just be felt and dealt with while they're going. Flowing, yeah. Yeah, it should be mm-hmm. like, oh, I didn't like what you said. Oh, I I noticed that you're you you made a sad face or whatever it is. There, it's we're so fucked up with our emotions mm-hmm. that the way police officers talk to us or fe- like think that they have some authority. Mm-hmm. So I've learned all this just protesting, but learned through streets and DOA and like there's so many people that I've learned so much stuff. So from. you know but, the law, you know. I don't know it. I'm getting there. You're getting there. I feel a lot more confident dealing with. The police, the police are actually now the people that I have issues with where I'm going like, why are you not? Why are you already because they're being paid or hired by the Scientologist building Mm -hmm. or entities? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They already have a bias of people like me being out there protesting. Why? Because they already know it's about Scientology. It's but you're exposing peaceful. Sci- we are. But the police are being paid by Scientology. Oh, is that right? 100%. That's well, they're the on the they're payroll? Getting, and they're also getting paid overtime. So really? like, I think the last protest we just did, I mean, we're protesting every night and day now, but like the ma- when we have a bigger protest, when I've seen more people come together, like the last one we did was Easter, and we were protesting the fact that Scientology thinks it's okay to promote an Easter thing on L. Ron Hubbard Way and bring in the goats and all these animals and bring in kids and shit to this thing that they are literally, this is one of their outlets of child trafficking, bringing fum- uh, families from other countries thinking they have a pass to be in America yeah. and saying like, oh, I could work and dedicate my life to this really nice organization not even knowing that they are there under Scientology. They don't even realize it's Scientology until they've already committed themselves into a good course. Oh, Their child's wow. already into it. They, so they so try they, to they, keep they, the word Scientology out of their recruitment. So they mask it. 100% because people have done their research. They do know a little bit about Scientology or they know like there was a lo- there's a lot of backlash to people trying to leave, et cetera. Yeah, and Ron, that's just barely coming out. Yeah, L. Ron Hubbard was a nasty man, huh? He's a con- He's literally but a like Even the way he con- looked, it looked like he had B.O. and his teeth were all... It's I got pretty amazing. Up, but he looked like his it's teeth were amazing. messed up. It's pretty amazing because he was degrading. But the thing is, is he... he it's a it's amazing what the human vulnerable mind mm. will do and think about a a person that you think is a god or a he powerful. was just a nerd right he wrote like science fiction I wouldn't give that much credit to him nerd is wrote, like a cool thing I think for but people. he was like just a dude that wrote a lot he would make he was getting paid something like a penny per word so he was just like oh I'm writing his sci-fi yeah. so he was writing a lot and during that he got a little bit of a cult following like oh we are into your side, whatever that was. Yeah. That turned into, oh, what am I going to do? I'm getting all this money. I'm getting attacked. I'm getting, call- you know, the IRS is after me. I'm a con pretty much, conning money and fucking making, oh, all we need to do is start a religion. That's How, not- how accurate was the movie The Master? Is that pretty accurate? Because I've so seen it. So accurate in yeah. what degree? Like as how as accurate is depicting Scientology the character. in the aftermath? Like, like you depicting know, the, like the- um, uh, Philip, Seymour Hoffman as L. Ron Hubbard. Was that pretty accurate as far as the acting and I the never depiction? knew L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah. But based on now, the interviews I do on my own YouTube channel and stuff like that. Plug it real let's plug it real quick. What's your YouTube? Let's my plug, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, are you gonna unplug yeah, no, no, something? No, 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 no. Plug it right here. <laughs> uh, my YouTube is Lara FM or Lara Anderson Official. That's right. the but Lara L A R A F M. You'll find it. Yeah. Lara F M S P T V. Subscribe today. Do it now. Do it now. Everybody take a minute. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But I'm just, you're guessing if, I mean, he looked like, you know, as far as, like. It's just, you were talking about his grossness, L. Ron Hubbard, how he yeah, looked Yeah, he just, physically. he looked like a the smelly thing man. Is that, yeah, but they also had photoshopped and photos and, you know, like, uh, what do you call those, like, statues of yeah, him everywhere yeah. in every org, and we'd be clapping him. And now that I've, oh, yeah, there we go. Now that I've been talking about, it about how L. Ron Hubbard was to these o- other people, these elder, they're, they're older than me now, but they were young kids working with L. Ron Hubbard when they were 11, 12. And so I was asking him like, how, and it's really weird 
you know, peeling my own onion and my own head and what's going on and learning about things and making my own fucking choices, yeah, yeah, whether yeah. people like them or not. Like, you know, everybody like it's so weird to see somebody still multiple people, many people that I've talked to on my YouTubes and off that still want to validate L. Ron Hubbard in some way. What? Like, like not valid. Like they say things like, uh, God, I don't I don't want my friend to be mad at me, but I'm going to say it like. Uh, they said something like, oh, you know, yeah, I know he was really nice. You know, there was this one time I was helping him fix his tie and I'm um, helping him get dressed because, you know, he had broken his arm. And I said to her, I said, what can I ask? Why were you why was a 12 year old helping L. Ron Hubbard? fix his tie I just like I was like that to me That's is so a, gross when now yeah. I've been a child raised in this whole thing of auditing and then auditing people elderly men sex checking they call it security checking which what? is like a child we were being trained as children in fact the younger you are in the in Scientology as a child the more I'd looked up you are like oh look at this 12 year old auditor class four like there's all these do levels do they even right? know what they're doing the child yeah no so if they're Does bra- any child, this no. is why we say protesting all the time. Yo. Children cannot consent. They Yo. cannot consent. Hashtag kids can't consent. When you look that up, it means we're talking about kids cannot consent to Scientology. Yo. No matter. So parents, p- parents of outside Scientologists, stop already raising your children in a mindset where we are showing you there is an organization that has mental control over these elderly people. Stop raising your children into this because we are the children that are out of it. And we're going like, we can't even get our own family members out. So back to full circle. Yeah, you're Back pro- to yeah, you're- finally protesting, meeting, yeah. st- meeting, not meeting streets, but seeing him on A.A. Ron's show. And then knowing he was going to go protest. He was like, yeah, I'm going to be at the Shrine Auditorium. because your was- dad? No, Streets LA. Oh, Streets they- LA. So I knew people were going to be out there kind right, of right, right, like right. out at Shrine Auditorium. So I texted my friend Jen. I was like... I kind of was like feeling really, you know, anxiety, P- whatever it is, and PTSD, Anxi- whatever it is. Anxiety. And I was just like, uh, okay, I'll text my friend Jen. And I text her like, hey, I was thinking about going there, you know, Streets LA, maybe there and whatever. And I just think it would be cool. And she was like, yeah, cool. Do you want me to pick you up? And I was like, oh, shit. Then in my mind, I was like, okay, I really am going now. So then I was like in the, like my friend Jen wasn't there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I would have made it there. I don't know. I probably would have made some excuse yeah. anyway. So it was really cool. She was there that we showed up that then when I got there, there was some people and I was like, hi, like had my orange, my golden rod. I had it also. It was obvious. My sign. Da, da, da. So the whole time, you know, that actually I was thinking I was going to see my mom. Is your mom in it? My mom is up at the headquarters still at Golden Air Productions in oh, Hemet. Oh, man. And so what they do on these big events is my mom, I know what her job is. She actually is the editor. She's the video library and editor that matches up all the editing that they've put together, the fake pro- PR, the propaganda of all these fake videos. Oh, we've helped the world. We went here to this site and helped all these people. They line it up to the leader speech. My mom's job in the Sea Org is to line up and make sure that on the live speech, while David Miscavige, the leader, is talking at the event, that the images are lined up on the screen. Shame on you, Mr. Miscavige. Shame on you. Yeah, I mean, shame on him for fucking a lot of things. But so I just felt like, okay, my mom's going to be coming down on this bus run, that their private little bus run Mm -hmm. from headquarters down to the shrine. I knew. And so I was kind of looking for her, but then I was like, oh, maybe the chances are already going to have her locked up and away from me and away from the outside protest, whatever. So it was just on my mind, right? And because of that, as I was going, you know, there was a certain point I was talking to somebody and I was, you know, I was telling the cops, like, you guys are ridiculous. What's the permit? They were lying always to us about the permit, where it was. This on the boulevard? On uh, outside the Shrine Auditorium. Okay, gotcha. So it was, I was already confused. Then Streets comes and I was like, oh my God, hi Streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, hey, hey, Ron, hey, I met Streets. It was great, right? Going, you know, like 10, 15 minutes go by. Angry gay Pope. He's been an old protester of Scientology. He's been fucking in this shit forever. Uh, I saw, I was like, oh my God, talking to him. Da, da, da. They walk away. And uh, as I'm like talking to the police and telling one of the plants from Scientology, like, dude, are you serious? You're going to listen to my conversation and then you're going to just think this is okay? Like, why? As I was like talking to him and I was kind of doing a funny dance, Wait, well, like SPs a, are yeah, free. What's a plant? Like a Scientology plant. Like they're there to a be spy, friendly like a to spy, you, but they're really, yeah. Or they're there to distract you from protesting. So they're like in disguise? You, they're in disguise. Uh, they, they, yeah, they'll wear 
civilian clothes, as they oh, call it. Oh, really? And yeah. they're called plants. Plants. Like I didn't know that. They're there to do that. a job. There's no reason they're there other than oh. to distract us or to talk to us or to uh, record or get to instigate us to like, whoops, sorry, yeah. to try to trigger them to like, ca- like make us cause an assault gotcha, or something. Gotcha, gotcha. Like Continue. Which is what they yeah. do all the time. Uh, so anyways, as I'm doing this, I'm out there kind of like on an adrenaline, but like, oh my God, blah, 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 whatever. I was talking to somebody and I was like, oh my, I swear to God, on my eye, I saw the a cart and an image of a man pushing the cart. And I thought in my head, like, oh, that looks like my dad. And I was like, but I was like, that's not my dad. I'm just thinking it could be because oh, of all man. the Sea Org members and everybody around. And then as I was like doubting myself, I looked and I was like, I, like, everybody knows their dad you know how they, they walk yeah. you know the little subtle things and i was like i was like oh my god that is my dad and so then i was like dad dad and i just was like i was like oh my god is he gonna like what if he just looks at me like i was just trying to get something out of him i was a like reaction. dad dad yeah. and i kind of like even hid my how far was he? As yeah. 10 feet like literally from, lit- on the sidewalk and so they were from walking here, the from sidewalk here to there? yeah and he was walking like this literally oh. walking like that and i was like dad dad so i was following him down oh yelling my. him and i realized and then in my mind i was like oh he's not gonna look at me he's in fact i was like oh he's probably in shock right now like oh shit i shouldn't be out here can't believe she uh, like that's definitely my daughter oh my like God. i'm just gonna keep my trs in my confront as they've trained them and i i just my mind literally was like Oh my God, he's not going to listen. And then I was like, in my live stream, I was like, where's my live stream? And oh, my you're live Jen, streaming? Yeah, my on friend YouTube? Jen. On YouTube? Yeah, on my, exactly, on yeah. my YouTube. And I was like, Jen, she was holding the live stream. And at the same time, I'm seeing my dad, somebody is delivering me a bouquet of flowers. And still to this day, I don't remember where they came from or everything. I was kind of like, somebody was like, Laura, it's for you. Goldenrod, you're wearing the out. And I was like, who is this from? And I was like, and I was like, guys. And in my live stream, I was like, that was my dad. That's my dad. And I was telling the police, I was like, that's my dad. I was kind of like in so, shock. So your adrenaline was going. Yeah. When's the last was. time you saw your father? Six, five years before that. Six years. Oh. When I got declared. One day excommunicated me. What does declared mean? I don't know when these terms. Declared an SP. Oh, depressive person, person SP, which yeah. means like you get kicked out. You're com- and you're not allowed to speak to or connect in any way, shape, or form, even through other family members or other people, directly at all to a declared SP. So you're excommunicated, basically. Uh, yeah, I'm a declared suppressive person. So he, did he look at you at all? No, he went faster and pushed it on. Oh and my, then I kind of oh got a little, goodness. yeah. I, and oh, then I was like an intense. adrenaline. I was like, well, I'm on the live stream. And I was like, hey, you're protesting. You better keep <sighs> it together. It was so many things. Oh. And then I was so mad at the police officers for not listening to us and believing us and then lying to us about, because the fact is like, if they weren't lying to us about the, the permit, I could have walked on the sidewalk and walked with my dad. Oh my or God. Some, I know that's stupid, but like, I just was like, you guys are not helping us. So at they, all. do they brainwash you? Like, why? That's what it is. It's, it's just brainwashing. Con- every study, every course, everything you do, in a, every book you're reading about L. Ron Hubbard is to be in the thick and the mind of the way that L. Ron Hubbard thought and huh. how he processed and how he manipulated people and how he stole black magic and MK Ultra tactics to well, literally he do, he, he, 100%. He does MK Ultra? Do, and he literally takes tactics from all kinds of. I would say mind control. People can call it my uh, witchcraft yeah, or right. you know whatever it is, but it's mind control. Really? And it's, it's, it's to take over the thinking and the way that people think in their lives for themselves. Can I, Scientology does that. Can I ask you how you got out of it? Like when did you wake up or how did you rebel or like like the trajectory to the point where you're in it and then when you realize I need I can't do this anymore, I'm out. Isn't it hard to leave Scientology? Yeah, so and there's never a lot of humans want to have this mind thinking of thinking, oh I was done with it and I'm out. No, that's actually not. It's a long slow interrogative intrusive completely disgusting mind fuck yeah re rethinking how you think about yourself you can only leave if you tell us everything oh um, so they have blackmail on you oh 100% so wait wait recording and the thing oh 
film. So Wait, when you go get you? auditing, when you get uh, any person getting auditing. Wait, describe what auditing is for so, people yeah, who might exactly. not know. Yeah, exactly. And that's a Just big difference. Because you're pretty advanced with the, t- the it, language. And it's it, yeah. a big difference. Auditing in the outside world is like what Streets LA do or people who audit. You know, they're mm-hmm. auditing the police, or which means they're documenting their behavior. They're following what they're doing. They're seeing like like calling them out on their illegal shit. In, in Scientology, they call, oh, auditing is like you're going in session. You're getting a session. You're paying for this auditing. You actually pay money for hours of this auditing. You've been audited? Hour. You've been yes. Au- and yes, 100%. Okay, can I pretend? You, you're the auditor. Pretend that I'm getting audited. So what? Okay, I sit down. Okay. So I'm, there's different forms so, of auditing. So you just can, do, do a mock auditing, like real quick, just to do a presentation. Okay, so. Do I have to hold on to the um, some, lightsabers? You would be sometimes on the cans, okay. or it doesn't even have to be. The thing is, we get distracted by this fake machine, which was made up, this e-meter. With those silver yeah, lightsaber the cans things? And yeah, the cans. The oh, okay, so it doesn't do anything. It is supposed to. I can't say or not. I don't even know how to fucking do it. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. know how to oh, let's just do it. Let me tell you something. Okay. Though. There were my sister and people, kids at the Int Ranch where we grew up as little cadets, again, with the growing up because we didn't grow up. Right? Where's the ranch located? In Hemet, 15 minutes away from the headquarters, Hemet. Golden Air okay, Productions. Gotcha, gotcha. And it was away on Indian, uh, private native Indian property out there. So actually, a lot, a lot, a lot of years later, realizing life. I was like, oh, even social services and child services couldn't go on to the really? Indian ranch property Why without not? notifying the chief of the native Indians. And then he would notify the ranch Sea Org member executive in charge. Oh, because it was on native kids. land? Right. So they have oh, to get permission. Oh, Lord. So that's just one thing. That's just, I mean, there was other cadet orgs and other ranches and things like that. Yeah. So, but I'm just saying specifically for the Int Ranch cadet org, it was very seclusive even in that way. So in auditing, do they ask you, like, just, just so ask auditing, me. auditing, it's okay, like I'm, basically. I'm ready for my audit. I have to, okay, so. They also call sec checking or anything. I'm ready. So first of all, they'll have you relax and da da da. And yeah. and did you eat well? Did you yeah, have enough I food? Did. And did you sleep well? Yes, okay, Laura. Then you haven't drank any no, alcohol I'm fine. and nope. no drugs. Mm-mm. Okay. And so you would start it, but like there would be questions like interrogating before you do any session. You so, have to. So go ahead. You have to ask things like, uh, "Did you masturbate? When? Exactly when." <laughs> But you know what's gross? Okay, yeah, you know, Here's I'll be the honest. dark, dirty I'll be honest. shit, though. Okay, let's just stay on They're that. having 12-year-olds, 14-year-olds normalize this asking, like, oh, I'm, remember how I said, see, the younger you are and the more trained you are, the more, like, looked up you are. Like, wow, it must be a past life. Okay, so ask me again the same question. So the question, and it would be straight up. Okay, yeah, okay, It would no, be no. straight up, like. I'm going to ask, I'm going to answer it. So, Stevie. Yeah. Do you, are you masturbating? Yes, ma'am. And when did you do that? <laughs> Last night. Okay, what time was that? Um, around three in the morning. And where were you? I was in the dorm. In which room? Uh, 3A. Okay. And were you on your bunk bed? What was yes, the, what and was then, the, how, what yeah, was I was, the position? Where were I was you? on my back. Okay. Yeah. And were you using your right or your left hand? My I'm right not joking. No, 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 no. Okay. My, my right hand. I'll keep my TR. And I made a homemade Fifi. No, we're going to break okay, that okay, down. Okay, okay, go, go, go ahead. can't just skip okay, to okay, that. That's steady weedy. I'm sorry. I want, we need exact details. Okay, I'm sorry, man. What are you thinking about? I was, I got on Pornhub. So you're watching Pornhub, okay? So yes. as I'm doing this, I'm writing this all down, okay. by the way, and a camera's on you and the e-meter camera's yes, ma'am. on you, Por- and I'm detecting your, like, uh, you know, sensitivity yeah, or whatever, yeah, okay, right? That yeah. we're bullshit being trained I'm on. I'm being honest with and you. And you feel that this machine is working yeah, right Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, so what were you thinking about? Well, I, I was go thinking. dark. I wasn't thinking. I was looking. And and what were you watching? I was watching porn. I just told you I was and on I Pornhub. And I would ask you in detail what you were watching. I, w- I would POV uh, gr- uh, granny cream pie. Okay, but I would say, what is that? I would break it down. I would break it down okay, into okay, okay. how so many. They would be that how many times did you jerk off, and and how long did you, and when? With and then did you go back to 30, doing it again? Thirty-seven minutes. And then what were you thinking of while you were doing that? Grandmothers. And and uh, literally, and it'll go back like, okay, so in a lifetime, did you have sexual affairs with your grandmother? No, I just fantasize about it because I'm okay, attracted so to older ladies. Okay, so then they would have this all on the record. So they would have this all on the record. Yeah, that okay. You do this, and oh, maybe you're embarrassed, and we're gonna okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Laura. See, there's a reason we have open pa- podcasts these days because we don't give a fuck anymore. Dude, that like that's sick. the thing. Yeah. Is we I'm don't not, give a shit. We're open. No shame We're it. not hiding nothing. Yeah, this is what no we shame like. In it. Okay. Are they gonna use that against me? Right. So the only shame is that when a what? 12 year old is is interrogating oh. Oh. a 50 well, year old man it. about but that changes pedophilia. It. Oh, that changes it. A lot more. But I'm the young one. I'm 12. Yeah, it can go both ways. 
Wait, like I'm I the young said, one. I'm sure. I'm the young sure, one. How's that even, wrong? That th- that, when, that I'm looking up grandmothers. How's that? What's wrong with that? We're gonna. It's just nothing. We're Scientology. As long okay. as you pay for the audit. Did session, I pass the audit? As long as you pay, as more as long as you tell us more about that. Wait, what do you mean? Do I have to pay for the audit? And if you're okay with that, they're gonna go straight into like, okay, what are you not okay with telling us? What do you mean by that? Uh, like, no, There's they'll nothing, go into, I don't no, know, I'm no. not a gross, oh dark person, God. but oh. they will go dark. And guess what? So this is the point. Oh my you get God. these people who are still addicted, right? These OT3s and OT5s and what does that Tom mean? Cruise OT7 levels. They're, they're, they've paid so much money for all these auditing okay. where they feel comfortable Can enough I ask you a question? to go past life and make up things or not make up, okay. but really feel or whatever it was because they were molesting a child oh. or... Whoa. Exactly. They when are allowed a- to pay money to get this off an auditing and say... Thank you for telling us. When I was your in, needle is floating. Now you can walk out and you're good. You go to the next step. So when I was in the room, I was in this this office room. And you're was, not allowed to leave the room. But there's at a, all. There's ever. a there's a periodic table. Is that like the different levels of OT? The bridge mean? The, well, no, it was like a periodic table of different courses. Right. And, that it'll tell you that's it's like a yeah. This is your bridge oh. to total freedom. There's many courses you have to take to go up the bridge to total right. freedom. So the aud- audit's over. I don't. We're done with the audit. Yeah, okay, the, thank you. End of session. End of session. Yeah. So how much do you have to pay for that, the audit? I have to Depends pay them? if you want like a bougie, bougie, but cute as young a, auditor that, you know, I feel comfortable with her. I'm going to pay extra. But as a kid, you have to pay for that? Kids are getting audited? Like oh, teenager? all the time. Yeah, but in the C or you sign a billion-year contract. How are you going to? Uh, in? Did you hear me? Yeah. In the C organization, a billion years. you sign a billion-year contract. So as long as you're in the C org, you don't have to pay for any of your auditing or sec checking. Uh, but if you leave, like I did, you you get a freeloader bill. It's called a freeloader bill where you have to pay for all the auditing and the sec checking you got while you were in the Sea Org. Oh, my God. If you leave the Sea Org. How are you Even gonna, if you're still a Scientologist. How are you going to fulfill a billion-year contract? I mean, if you're born and raised and groomed in this in a very manipulative, sick L. Ron Hubbard way, you don't even think outside. There's no outside. You've been groomed your whole life. And then somehow, because your parents have brought you into this and they're so proud of you for being so ethical and so on it and groomed, basically, mm-hmm. uh, there's no even further authority or love to go to. You just think, oh, my God, my mom's so proud of me. I'm so like I'm doing such a good thing. And now I'm above my mom in rank. And How did your parents get into this stuff? They from Canada. They were, they were in Toronto. They met in Toronto organization in Canada really? in like 1975 or something. Oh, my. Do you have siblings in yeah, it? Yeah, brother, sister. My whole family that I know is in it. And then the people that aren't in it won't talk to me because they're afraid of losing the one little slight connection they have to my mom and dad. Do they know? Are they going to watch this interview? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and so I'm they're sure gonna know they secretly. They they're gonna know secretly. who Stevie Weeby is. Oh hell yeah, that's all you need to worry about. That's all you need to worry about. You're good. You're good, Stevie. You're good. My really? family we, will we, know you. And for, in Canada, they will know who. Hey, Stevie watch Weeby is. it there. You know, Cousin watch Dan, it. Dan, don't let's come. Go. Don't come around these parts. I got William Good on my corner. I got. <laughs> and you got me. Yeah, and then yeah, don't come around my neighborhood. You don't want to come around these parts. You know what I mean, right? Don't even think don't about it. Don't even think about no it. More. Don't think about it. <laughs> right? Don't think about it. Don't. Let's 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 this is interesting to me. Let's go let's let's keep going on the trajectory of you leaving in like Yeah, so there's yeah. many layers. So you have to get I got interrogated, you know, about everything. All those weird things that you feel like nobody oh god, I tried his little Yeah, 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 yeah. Brain zippy yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross that's thing. orange uh, that's orange creamsicle. You like that? It matches your outfit. I like it. Does it remind you of Jamba Juice a little bit? A little bit? Yeah, like that that yummy. Yeah, why don't you try, try this rainbow one? No, no, no. This, this is, is like rainbow candy. This, uh, is, you, this is like Skittles. This is getting me because I don't oh, smoke. Uh, oh, but this is like Skittles. Just try this too. No. Okay, you're good with that? Yeah, this okay, is kind cool. of like, mm, <laughs> this kind of like tastes like Thai tea a little bit too. There you go. Like an orange Thai tea. And then you mentioned you did smoke cigarettes like me, right? How many, what'd you smoke? Marlboros? Marlboro Wait, Reds? full circle. Yeah. Oh, Tell yeah. me if I'm wrong. I feel like I've met Stevie a while ago. Okay, here oh, we you, go. You mentioned this before the cameras were Yeah, running. yeah. I was like, go should ahead. we roll? Go ahead. Um, so I was watching your interview with Streets, and you mentioned that you would go to the pool hall, that crazy girls. I was in a band called Little Red Radio. Did I? Little Red Radio. Oh. We were this crazy party band. Really? 
and we would play pool. I think I played pool with you at the fucking club. I'm not kidding, because I was I was like a wild girl in Little Red Radio, like yeah, fun. Yeah. And I looked probably like, you know, the little slutty yeah. girls that were around, but oh. I wasn't. I was just kind of like a I tougher worked, girl. When was this? Early 2000? Yeah. Okay, because like I worked at that six, makes, five, that seven, makes That eight. makes sense, because I worked at Amoeba at the time. And yeah, I'd when it was more. down there. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. So oh. I remembered your face. A lot. Like, you were, I was like, oh, he's here. Like, I remember that. And you know who we were, we were opening up for uh, uh, Crazy Town? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Seth, I, re I remember Crazy Town. Yeah, yeah. you're my butterfly. Yeah, Sugar, yeah, 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 yeah. I was singing with him on wow. the stage because his voice was so fucked yeah, up his, from his drunk. Course. And we became really good friends. And I was like, I loved backing him up because I was like listening to the song while I was digging trenches at the fucking Int Ranch. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to get, into, we're gonna get into your music too. Yeah, we're yeah. going to get but, into your music. So I was in that. But Little oh. Red Radio was my first only band that I was in before I started doing like That's Lara crazy. FM. You have so a good memory. I don't really remember I, that. Yeah. Some things, no. Some things just come up. And I'm like, oh, my God. I blacked that shit out. That's crazy. And I just didn't think it was important. It wasn't important, but now it is. But look how it comes back. Full circle. That's crazy. Um, So you're getting uh, audited. You're, when did you start waking up? Like, when did you start There's rebelling? There's no waking up. So <clears throat> I thought I was leaving the Sea Org to mm -hmm. do more for Scientology when I left the Sea Org. Mm -hmm. I was thinking Tom Cruise, this is funny. The security guard sec checking me was laughing at me. When I finished all the two, they put you through a 200 question plus more because mine was tailor made because I was a child born and raised in this. So they didn't want, they needed to make sure I wasn't being negative. Like mm -hmm. I was leaving on good terms and that I was really waiting, just mm -hmm. begging to make amends to them. And mm -hmm. I was going to show them how good of a Scientologist I was. Oh, wow. So when it was on that note, and I made a joke like Tom Cruise, you know, if he's as famous as he is, we're working 24 hours a day, basically. We dedicated a billion years. So we're spending our whole lives in the Sea Org. I was like, I feel like I can do more. I feel like I have more energy. Or I have like, Oh, and I went all the way up in the Sea Org. I ran for the leader. I was down. I was a messenger running for the executives in the Sea Org. In the Sea Org in Clearwater during the Lisa McPherson case. Lisa McPherson wow. died at the Fort Harrison That's under crazy. the care of Scientology. Under the care of Scientology. How do you get up to the Sea Org that level? How do you get recruited? You have to. Well, because I was born and raised in it, they already oh. knew that I knew the ethics book and all the Ooh. policies verbatim. So I was like going through the EPF, and that's all this the boot camp, all that that they. Had have people from the outside Scientology family members you can't just join the Sea Org you have to be groomed from your parents or from other Scientologists as you're growing up to even think that Scientology is legit at all did you ever sail did you sail a lot then no Didn't we sail but you're in the Sea Org I thought you were hitting no. the sea so L. Ron Hubbard as I said was a runaway felon so he oh, was on the oh because he knew the maritime law all oh, the sea the, the, and so he started the law of the water yeah because it's a sea. different law the law the of the sea land yeah. and the law of the water maritime they couldn't arrest him oh, and there are so many law. stories I've had people on my yeah. own personal podcast Smart. on YouTube mm -hmm. that work for L. Ron Hubbard wow. that would say oh there were so many times where he would uh, they would say, oh, we're not going to port in this island because the feds are waiting for him. And so they would turn and move to a whole, and he yeah. literally got away. He different was running loss. away from the feds. Yeah, because yeah. he's a different he law was of the land, law of the water, all the maritime. tax money, that because he didn't get the, and he was spending all, money on who knows where and how much. And he, where, was, how, was he on where cocaine? He, was, it, was he on? He was on all the drugs. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so keep, keep going. This is interesting, <clears> yeah. From where? Where were we? We're talking about. I, I lose memory. No, 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 no. memory. I no, we're lose. talking like, about blah, 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 blah. you. We're talking about the Sea Org, and then we're, we're, we want to get to the point where you leave, where you where you decided to so leave. So Tom Cruise, I was telling him, like telling the security checker, and uh, got to a point they shipped me off to one of the motel birthing dorms, like the dorms where they birth. They call it birthing, birth, like where you. It's a probably a. It's probably a um like a sea thing. Okay. From oh, like it's a, it's a, it's like, like a sea birthing. term, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right, right, right. So the bunk beds, basically eight eight to ten people in like literally a bedroom, Co a one bedroom. No, no, no. All, Just no, all female? female or male, totally really? separate. Oh, oh absolutely okay, not gotcha. allowed. Okay, no dating, no effing, nothing until you're really? married. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Just holding hands and slight kissing here and there. No heavy petting. Nothing. You can get sent to the RPF, the rehabilitation. What if they caught you? What if they caught you? You get sent to the RPF. If they saw, they caught you making out on the. the Making boat? out is okay, but they might be like, "Hey guys, off schedule," and you're you know sitting in the stairs in the dark. You know you don't want that reactive okay. mind to kick in. Right. What does that mean? 
like your bad mind, your oh, slutty 2D. The That's things the are reactive auditing. mind yeah, is clearing. the sinful when you go mind. Clear, yeah, when you, there's analytical and reactive. So when you go clear, when they say we're clearing the planet, they're clearing every human body. Uh, they're going to have to go into of, thetans. of their reactive mind. Isn't that the thetans, the body thetans? That's upper level. That's OT3s. Then you start auditing. Once you're really wrapped in it, then you start auditing your BTs, body thetans, off of off the of real you. thetan that is you. Because they came so from the volcano. Like you're, hook, you're, you're a pedophile and all these because it's just not you. It's the body the body thing so attached. Auditing will. That's why you don't need to so go they're, to they're jail like or the law. They're like demons. Don't go to the outside authorities because you only can handle this through auditing, Scientology auditing. It's such a weird belief system. But you, but it's it is it's, it's, it's bizarre. It's, it's bizarre. And it's gross bizarre and weird, and yeah, it doesn't bizarre. do any good really. It's, it's in the weird. End. And yeah. then the the worst is that th they really are feeding off of. Uh, vulnerable Your fear. minds. Yeah. Fear, vulnerability, young children's minds. So it's blackmail, it's everything. fear, they're, it's coercion. All, all they're doing in auditing and Scientology is they're recording the data that you're giving them. And they are learning to see and think how you see and think. And then they are shifting, slowly manipulating you to shift to thinking this is how you should think, this is how you should be, you it's should be evil. a Scientologist. And the moment you want to step out of that, you start getting, uh, you're kind of going off purpose. You're kind of going off the rails. Hey, are you talking to so-and-so? You, oh, well, you can't talk to your mom and dad oh, until wow. you get that handled. Yeah. And so there's all these little things, right? Oh. And I, not only did I come out and pay the freeloader debt, which was hell because I was, I had to borrow money from this Scientologist and they were threatening, like, hey, you didn't pay me back yet. You said you were, and it was just like, oh my God. And then I was being manipulated by that person's brother who was dating me. I wasn't even 17 and they were like 28. And I was just like, it just grows like the whole world of yeah. not knowing anything, not even owning or holding our own passports or IDs forever. OSA. But what, but the, what the about money? And like, you don't, don't need money in the Sea Org because they don't, don't. You shouldn't even. You're, that's out of valence. That's other. They call it other fish to fry. We're here frying. We have a purpose here, and you're fr you're frying some other fish. Well, how are you supposed to live? You don't need to. They take care of it all. You live in a dorm. They give you this allowance. You have your uniform. You don't need anything else. Really? It's literally that bad. So what about everything is controlled every second of your day, even on the job in a CR, like you're auditing. If you're an auditor, if you're the toilet cleaner, if you're the dishwasher, like my dad is right now, dishwashing after 40 plus years. Being, he's washing, he's dishes? washing dishes. That's why he was pushing the cart oh, he, at the man. end of the event. He was getting all the dishes, which make you see my emotion when I see him. And I was like, dad, I was like, what else can I say to oh. you? Other than get out. This is so horrible. Like your own daughter is fucking screaming like a crazy person. But then I know his frame of mind. And so I'm like, dad. I'm, yeah. And then I'm like, and then I could hear uh, Jacob and other people being like, Phil Anderson, are you not going to talk to your daughter? Oh my goodness. And it was just like, I was just like, and then I was like, I'm so glad people are actually seeing this. Oh, and it was live stream. Yeah. So I was a mixed emotion. Oh my god. It didn't hit me till a few days later. I was on with AA Ron. And, and he told me, and he was like holding his choke in tears, and he was like, when I was watching that, I felt so angry for you. I, and then I lost it. He's a I good was like, guy. Aaron. No, he's a good I, I guy. Was like, I was struggling with that emotion. I was feeling yeah. so weird. I got. I went and had a few beers after. Yeah. I was like, Phew, with my friend Jen. Oh, I was you like, probably Thank needed you so him. much for being yeah, there. Oh, yeah. And then I kept, I, was like, I kept being like, Jen, I can't believe I saw my fucking dad. Yeah, that's crazy. It was like so, a dream. It was like a dream. It was like I was like, am I gonna wake up tomorrow and, not, and this yeah. is not real? So you, when you're in it, you don't have any freedoms. Do they watch you shit? Like you can't even take a shit like without them watching. There's you? literally cameras on every floor, like in the no, in the of, bathroom, in everywhere, in the outside of the hallway. So they know literally if somebody's been in a bathroom too long. Oh my! Or they can actually track where the Sea Org member last was. So and they can be like, oh, they went in the bathroom. So They're, what do they you do? fell asleep in the bathroom. That's where they went. So what are they? He didn't. He didn't blow. He didn't run away. Yeah, they call yeah. it blowing. If you blow, oh, you blow. That's what. There's some people. There's a uh, Claire and Mark Headley. They have a channel called Blown for Good, or yeah. he has a book called Blown for, in a channel oh, called Blown for right, Good. Oh right, right. But that's what it means. They blew and they left for good. So that and means blowing is escaping. Like escaping. You're running away. So when people say, "How did you escape?" It's either like you either blew or you did the proper things to route out, interrogate it, you got sec check, and it took a long time. It takes months to leave, and that's all you're doing. And they put you on heavy work. You're scrubbing dumpsters with toothbrushes. They're putting you on the worst work for no reason just to make you feel like at least you're doing the worst thing to leave the best group that you're leaving, but at least you're following the rule. Like It's really fucking belittling. It's so abusive yeah. it's so horrible oh. and any age you're at old or young you have to go through this trying to leave so you either end up 
unaliving yourself. I've learned to say yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Unaliving yourself or you uh, get too old, you give up and you stay and then you die. Because oh they don't take care of elderly. They neglect the elderly. It's just bad on all oh levels. Oh, my goodness. There's no way out of Scientology. So you're a lucky good. one. Am I? Yeah. I've lost everything. But you have your freedom. This is true. You're not. But we, we see we're able to talk on an open mic. Like you know this. what I'm saying? I love it. So if a Scientologist was in here right now, what they would. They would faint. What would they say? Uh, they would they would, zap me would, with the laser? They, no, I mean they would they would leave, but they would but they they would like if they were take my info. Would we they take saying, my info? They probably would start to get debrainwashed. That's the thing. The moment they that's why Scientologists are not allowed to look at the internet. They're not allowed to what? Look, they're not allowed to type in Scientology. They have to go to Scientology.net. Like their Scientology. So it's like North up. Korea. Literally, I was waiting for you to say that. I, <laughs> I just didn't want to say it. Yo, give me a pound. Lich, That's Lich. real. That's real. It's but like, it might even be worse no, because you're like apparently North Korea. free in America. Damn. And then you have the LAPD and everybody on the side of Scientology. Oh so my. how are you supposed to get help if you're trying to leave other than having SPTV Foundation or new foundations that are directly just helping people trying to leave? Damn. And they don't have to pay taxes. God. And then the people protesting get all these fake SWAT calls. They're just nonstop. People getting arrested. They purposely do it over weekends where it's a four-day weekend. What's a SWAT call? DOA, Defender of Ants, was in jail for six days over a weekend for no reason. And Why? then DA dropped the charges. Is that a protester on the... Yeah, the yeah, Defender yeah. of Ants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has his whole van wrapped. The end, the back yeah, of it yeah, says yeah, yeah, SBT. Yeah. Right, 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 right. And it has all... He painted himself like all the children and people who unalive themselves. Is that your homie? Yes. That's your Literally, homie. Literally. They're the, all my ho streets is my fucking yeah, homie. That's they're the all, homie. That's your these homie. These are people I can trust that I have no fear from them. I've learned them. I've yeah, yeah. seen where they're. Oh, no. He's a good dude. Then vulnerable. Be, yeah, yeah. Like, he's real. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, and there's more So, of them. isn't that great to know you have a support system? Hell now? yeah. It's literally that's giving your me army. so much passion. Right. So, like, I have passion. It's f giving me an outlet to put it. Right. I always even criticize my own music and stuff because I was like, oh, nobody really knows. And then if I was going to try to explain it, uh, you better watch what you're saying. So I was just like always like, well, I'm secretly telling my story through my songs. And now these are songs I wrote eight, five years, eight years ago, ten years ago even. So, yeah. And people are loving them now. How and do I'm people like, this is so cool. How do people listen to your music right now? How do they find it? Spotify, iTunes. Under uh, Laura FM? YouTube. Go to my YouTube to and FM? look at my music videos and all that. Yeah, L-A-R-A-F-M. Go to my website. My website is Laura.FM. What kind of, what, how do you describe, best describe your music? Everything. Like, I Is really it, love not being put in a box. I love... You play I use guitar? My, no, I dabble with a bunch of instruments. I love being in the studio recording it, and I love performing what oh. I record. Do you do electronic stuff, too? I do everything. Everything? Yeah, I love dab. I, I, I cannot actually wait to do, like, a jazz album. But, like, re, I guess my thing for people to know... I do have a vibe, I think people constantly say, is, like, 80s and 90s vibe. Whatever yeah, it yeah. is, like, it could be jazz or whatever yeah. it is. Do you uh, like Cyndi Lauper? Oh, I love her. I love her. And there's things like, I, there are some really famous mm -hmm, artists mm -hmm. that I love. Prince, you like Prince? Love Prince. Fuck Purple, love Purple Rain, the mm -hmm. album Purple yeah, Rain. I, like, I love it all. And a lot of these people, I've had to learn just over the last 10, 12, 15 years yeah. to get to know what why they were such big artists. Oh, really? Yeah, because you weren't allowed, wasn't allowed to idolize, we weren't allowed to even have pictures oh, you of weren't. people. Oh, that's and right. You're you not allowed to idolize anybody. b 52 Even Scientologists, like, we could idolize a little, but, like, it wouldn't be okay to, like, too much to be, like, mm -hmm. certain photos of, you know, Kirstie Alley or Tom yeah, Cruise or John Travolta would be allowed, but, like. Oh, because he was in it, John Travolta. They still all are. Mentally, John, they can't leave. John him. Travolta, hardcore, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Her, horrible. His uh, wife passed away. Oh, Kelly oh Preston. My, oh no, is Beck? Jet, is Beck his a son? Passed, what about Beck? He did recently say that he's no longer a Scientologist. So he doesn't Apparently. do it no more. Because I like his music, yeah. but once I found out, yeah. he was we're okay. a loser, baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's get to the point where where you dip. How did you leave? I want to at least get that. I love how he's like. Dip. No. First of all, humans, there's no dipping or um, out of Scientology. How you blow, how you blow. May I, am, is there any chance that I can move this just to take this off? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I go ahead. This good, yeah, right? yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And I just thing. got this today okay. in the mail. Okay, yeah, yeah. From, so the first protest I went to was because this uh, 
I guess, channel, podcast, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, fa- uh, they're called Eat Predators. Okay. And uh, Oh, you got the SP logo. So oh. they made me this shirt, but I actually made, you know, I have a big yellow the, sign no, that, every time I protest. Yeah. And it says Proud SP Woo! on one side. And they took that and they printed my That's writing on the shirt. Sick. And, uh, Are you and, selling and we those? Made it, yeah. So it's on there. It's on Eat Predators website, and I'll be I'm gonna put this up on my website That's for you guys. That's sick. Have as well. But yeah, it's a rendition of of mine and their thing. But the first time I went to protest was at the big blue building, and it was because yeah. Eat Predators put it together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's sick. Yeah, and it they, has a logo right here on the side. Yeah, we got SP. the we got the SP boom. Yeah, and then I got my fun thing, and then they have theirs, and then they made a fun thing in the back. It's kind of when you have a in inside in the Sea Org, they write policy oh letters my gosh. so they printed it like cult, the predator has cult of pred- predatorology they're hypocritical, making fun of scientology hypocritical ethics order 666 october 21st 2023 all cults all cons eat predator supporters around the world are hereby declared safe persons and are instead oh. of suppressive we're safe so we're oh, changing sp we say right. safe people or safe person That's or sexy safe. person or silly person or sassy person are you selling those yeah Oh, so on, how do, so it'll so, be on my website. Yeah, well, let's let's there's plug a, that. There's a, on my website, Lara.fm, there's I have Polaroids. I like to keep my website kind of my style, fun mm-hmm. and eighties and nineties mm-hmm. feel. And so I have Polaroids as links and there's a specific Polaroid with my little Lara FM pound thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that you can that says more merch. And so you click on that and then you can look and there's a whole link that says SPTV and more merch and you click and it has hoodies, it has all these things and all these new logos. That's Anything sick. new, I'll put up there. There you go. How yeah. much for a shirt? 25 bucks or something. Get yours today, everybody. Get yours today. Right? Right. Support Do that. Do it now. Yeah. All right. I want to get to the point. I'm, I'm still going to. I'm still hanging on to the point yeah, where yeah, keep me, you, keep me uh, you, aligned. You I'm blowed, you blowed the system. So there's no dipping. That's where we're getting. Okay, there's you no blow, dipping. but you so blow. So finally, here, this is basically how they threatened me. Was um, they said, basically, they put me like I was telling you the bunk beds, the dorms. They put me away from the main base in Clearwater. Wait, they, wait, how many to a room though? In the room, I'm not kidding. Eight to ten, and I'm not kidding you. A room with one bathroom. What? I'm telling you, an apartment, a little thing like a little studio apartment like this. There would be a good three, like two bunks here, two bunks there, maybe one by the thing, so somebody can get by. What? And they all share, and they all have different schedules and stuff. Oh no! How do you? Get and the that rooms are like, rest? and not only that, security comes in and does inspections. HCO, which is this color, like the ethics department uh comes in and does inspections and make sure like you don't have porn magazines under the bed like that wouldn't even be allowed what a horrible life i mean that's but they're saving the world right so you think you're saving the world and i'm dedicating my spirit and my body because bodies yeah you just get another body next lifetime right so you sign a billion year contract so in the kids' mind, it's oh, like, good. well, my mom and dad are so proud of me. I joined the Sea Org oh, family, geez. right? So anyway, so they back to the bunk beds. Yeah, I'm getting a whole visual. That's great. It's, it's, but it's absolutely yeah. needed because yeah. people need to understand why we're yelling and <sighs> saying people are like, oh, you guys are so harsh. Is that really going to help? Yes, it will. I guarantee you, okay? Planting a seed in these Sea Org members' minds that L. Ron Hubbard has taken this nasty, you know, manipulative technology, which is just really mess- making a person go insane. They're making you go insane. Are they going to watch align- this? Any of the Scientologists? Hell yeah. The Scientologists? Hell yeah. They're going to. They're going. I'm going to be on their radar. Possibly, especially after Streets L.A. So. So they know about me. Yes. Oh, interesting. But, you know, they're pretty, you know, closed-minded, so they might just, you could get away walking in anytime. Oh, like, oh, I didn't know about it. And they wouldn't know. They'd be like, oh, they wouldn't, like, they're just plus, so robotic. And then unless get, they're given an order, don't let them in or something. Right, they won't, they right. wouldn't, they don't, they're not advanced to be, in, they don't. Scientology was making fun of the protesters and literally spelt TikTok wrong. Really? Yeah, and they were saying the squir- they're squirrels. In Scientology, that's where the whole squirrel thing comes from, all of us yeah. wearing squirrel outfits and being little squirrels, is because when you alter L. Ron Hubbard's technology and do it on your own without paying, or you start saying, hey, you guys can do this without mm-hmm. paying, and anything like that, you squirreling his tech. What if I... So they called the TikTokers oh. squirrels, so they ran with that, which I love, uh, but then they spelt TikTok with a C. Mm-hmm. Oh my! There's God. just so yeah. in a Rolling Stones so article. It's so like 
And Rolling Stones they're is out in touch. their pocket too. Yeah, they're, they're so out of touch. touch. They're so out of touch. So when we're yelling things, protesting and saying these things, mm -hmm. it's because we're saying things that we know may plant seeds in their mind to even walk away and go to bed and think like, why did she say that? She's a proud SP. I'm so afraid of getting declared. How could you? How would she say she's a proud SP? How can you clown them the worst? Like if if I dressed up as Zenu. No, and like no, had alien. They will see you with their cameras miles but, but away. But if I if I got the whole that makeup, would be amazing. If I if, I would I would be there for you, it. If I drew up a like, lot of protesters would, you, would show up immediately. Well, you would support like, that a hundred percent. If I had the gray, 100%. if no, if I really did it and I was Zenu, uh, I I and I, I tell me when, like, tell me where, and maybe I can also join in <laughs> or something. Maybe it Watch could be out, part of the next music video. Keep pressing me. I might dress up as Zenu <laughs> at your next event. How do we press you? Can you send us a link on how to press you so that that can happen? Wait, like, well, you, well, I need the right outfit. Dude, I want. There's a get, lot of makeup artists. That like, can I could no. They can they could do a Zenu. visually. They could no. do a Zenu. Yeah, dude, and they would love would, to. Dude, They're waiting for Zenu. somebody like you to to, to dress to up as Zenu. You look like a cute, perfect but, little but, Zenu but too. But what if I? Can I you, yeah, if I you'd do be the, like you just walk in like hello. You, you know, if I do squeeze the cans, please. Yeah. Or you walk in like put up your cans. Come out with your cans up. So do you think um, we do a funny things would interview when we, me if I? If, I don't dude, even know if he would be able to do, physically do, sit still do, without I, busting. No, no. In. If I got the silver makeup, like with the he silver, would, I guarantee you, I would. That would, you would be support an immediate. That? Uh, no, not only I. I think m more more than half the world would support it. If I drew up, if I dressed like Zenu, but you would have yeah, as long as you fully did it. If I committed to that. Like, you know, like literally, like at least to the equivalent of Battlefield or like, you know, their their makeup. Yeah, in the, yeah, at least yeah. to that, because that was like Scientology yeah. level. Oh, dude. So it has to be to that extreme. If like, we could get into more like, you know, aliens kind of, that would be that. Can you get like me, real, like, like a get a on, special effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artist. Can you give me a Klingon outfit, like the full on Star Trek, like Xenu outfit? If I have to, I will definitely get that. <laughs> As long as you get the full makeup and the, all that done, and yeah. you go on a a Ron show first of all, and then you go out and protest me, with me at Big Blue or something, that would be great. Dude, would that be sick? I would be in a thousand dollars. I mean, that would that's like non threatening. Like right? you would have to pay me a thousand dollars. Dude, we would do whatever. I was it like a thousand dollars. That's not a lot. Or right, we got to get. Oh man, it's already. We got to get to a point okay. where you. How'd you blow the system? So okay, back to the dorms. This yeah. is a key thing. So yeah. they separated me because. Um, a lot of the other younger kids that were my age that grew up and that were all shipped off to Clearwater and all that, mm -hmm. and just other people that liked me. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually had a lot of friends. All I knew was people in the Sea Org my whole life. Mm -hmm. is all, My friends and all that are all in there. Mm -hmm. So they didn't like the fact that I was on route outlines, which is like you're away from everybody. They see you... Um, like in not in your uniform. So they're kind of like, why is she wearing? It's kind of like fun to wear civvies. So you're, yeah. so they feel like, so anyways, they thought that I was being, they call an OL, an opinion leader in a negative way because I was making other people think about wanting to leave because they saw me leaving. And for the third time, it was like the third time that I had tried to leave. And then they got me back in. Cause I just was like, Oh, it's just too much work. I'd rather just go back on another post or something. But and then they put entail? me as a cleaner. Yeah, and but what does that entail? Did you wait at four in the, till four in the morning and jump over a fence? No, no, no. So they give you approval. They literally say the international justice chief has to approve you. There's many people who approve your folder. It goes up lines. It goes up to the in to gold base, to the headquarters, to RTC. Oh, God. And, so they all have to prove like, okay, did she sign this document about not talking about the Int Ranch and the kids? Did she sign this? Did she say, uh, you know, they made us sign all these fucking documents. I don't even remember. Oh my. I was just kind of like, okay, I was so excited. Like they're giving me the documents. This means I'm, I'm close to leaving. And so they didn't basically got down to, they didn't know what to do with me because they were like, you're, so, you're going to be out PR for Scientology. If we send you to a non-Scientology family member, because they're going to be like, you don't know anything will happen and they're going to learn. That's what I just didn't know. I was just like, well, I don't want to be out PR. Ooh, what does that mean? Out PR. Like I'm putting negative PR to Scientology just because I'm acting the way I am. Is this negative PR? Uh, yes. <laughs> hip hip. Hooray. Oh, no. They're gonna... They clap to L. Ron Hubbard's picture oh. in sync. Hip, hip. Oh, so this is the, the leader goes hip, hip, and the crowd goes hooray. Okay. And keep... they go for like 
sometimes That's five crazy. minutes. Keep going. I like okay. what you're doing. So then I was at the, so they separated me, then put me in the dorm area where like it was like lower staff members, like not executive birthing. It was kind of shitty birthing. Yeah. Uh, and then they put like you stay here on this property because and just clean and work here until the last people like until your folder is fully approved. Mm hmm. And so at a certain point, I just started, I, there were some other people leaving as well, and they were older than me. And I saw them like just walking out and walking to the movie theater really close by. And I was like, oh. and so I started getting out of valence, as they would say. And, and so I just started being like, well, if they're going to go, I was like, I'm basically out of Sea Org. I was telling the security guard, like, why can they go and I can't? And they're like, he would be like, they're, they're being out ethics. You know, they're not supposed to be. And I was like, well, I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? So they said, we're going to declare you. They said, and that's so scary to hear. Like, you're going to be disconnected from everybody you know. What does that mean? What? In your whole life. They're never going to speak Say to that. you again. Declared. What's declared an SP. A suppressive oh, person. Oh, we're going to declare you an a SP. A suppressive person. You are so suppressive by your actions and walking off to the movie theaters. You're actually risking... Uh, we're just going to declare you, even though you did all this, we're going to got off all your things and did everything. About, we're going to declare you because you're not listening to us. That was the threat, right? So at a certain point, I was kind of like, okay, well, maybe I can, there's steps you have to do to when you do get declared, if you want to come back in. And I was thinking, well, maybe I could do those steps. Like, what if I did get declared? Maybe they would get me out of here faster. Like, I'm waiting. I did everything. And I was just annoyed. Like, why am I cleaning while they're going in the fucking movies? Like, and they were sneaking into the theater. And I was like, well, I can do that. I don't need money for that. They can sneak in. I can sneak yeah. in. Yeah. It was just exciting. I'm learning the new world. I'm like, kind of like, my mind is starting to go like, oh, I'm almost out, you know? Anyway, so it wasn't just boom, leaving. I'm scared of going into the outside world. The whole thing is very adrenaline. Really? Yeah. The, I'm like, ooh, I woke up this morning and I'm going like, oh, I'm wondering if I'm going to get approved yet. To How leave. old are you at during this time? Uh, 17. So you left at 17? Yeah. Me uh, physically. I got okay to physically leave. So anyways, finally after that, I get a call on the phone there, which you have to, you're not, you have to get permission to be on the phone, et cetera. So I get a call on the phone and the security guard saying, okay, well, you know, you were approved. We just don't know what to do with you. And I was like, I was approved. Oh my God. They're like, yeah, but you were approved on the fact that you have a non interpolation order, which means if one person anywhere in the world or anybody writes another knowledge report, which is like a tattle telling system in Scientology, then you get declared an SP. So they're like, yeah, you're ready to go. But even when you get your, if, the, if we get one report when you're out, you're going to be declared an SP. So I was kind of like, okay, I was just on this like. But don't you want to be declared an SP? Kind of at this point, I was kind of like, okay, well, if that's going to help me go faster, then yeah. I will. And then he goes, well, the only reason we're not. Yeah, they're like, we thought about that. And then he said, the only reason we're not. And he has such a gross voice. I'm being very nice. He's like, the only reason we're not is because your mom is an executive and she still has legal responsibility for you. So they were like, you're a minor. And so your mom, tackling, you know, she has to deal with that. He was like, like making it my fault. And I kind of was like, I didn't even know what a minor was or that. And I was just kind of like, oh, so I can't, I'm not going to get declared. And like you guys, that means you guys are probably hurry up because I'm probably going to keep walking off and going to the movies and stuff. Anyway, so he was just like, so the last thing I know, next morning, I, I get approved. They give me $300 in cash. The, the, the uh, uh, director of inspections and reports, Star, came and got on the van with me. That, that brings Scientologists from the base to the airport. Uh, from the public yeah. to the airport. So I get on this run and I'm like, okay, good. I'm going to the airport. She was like, so you're going to the airport and here's uh, your $300. This is for you. And here's your ID. Oh, no, here's your uh, birth certificate and your some passport, my Canadian passport or something that I need to get on this plane. Jeez. So by the time I get to California. So you're in Florida? Florida? I was in Florida. You're in Florida. So okay. then I'm like, oh, my God. So again, my this whole adrenaline, my God, I'm going, I'm pretending like I'm not happy that I'm leaving. I'm like, okay, like, like, okay, yeah, but I'm you're excited. Do good. I'm so excited, but I'm inside. nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's like literally like stage fright. I'm like, I don't know what the world is going to, am I going to fuck up? Am I going to be begging to it's come like back? It's like the movie The Village, the M. Night Shyamalan yeah. movie. Yeah, where they're. I yeah. felt like I was going to be begging to come back. Yeah. And I was like, well, I still need to just know. I need to get into trouble and find out. So, yeah. They finally let me out. I get on the plane. I was like, oh my God, I barely remember. I was just like, wow, okay, I'm doing this. I'm you're on alone? The plane. Yeah, on the plane by myself. I'm told my mom is going to meet me. 
at the LA air LA, LA bag, baggage claim. So I was just like, okay, I just have to follow the signs, go to get baggage. And for a 17 year old, that might seem normal, but not when you're leaving a cult that you knew nothing about the outside world and you don't even know your family. Oh, and, you're like, and I'm going, Oh good. I feel so bad. Cause my mom's so disappointed in me for leaving. And I haven't been able to talk to her about this at all. You're not allowed to talk to anybody about leaving. So it's five hour flight. So I land, land, I get there, and I'm feeling weird. And again, I go, and I'm going to the baggage claim to pick up my my one suitcase with whatever I had left in there that I, whoop, that yeah. I was a, allowed to have that I had. Because they go through everything. Oh, you're not allowed to have these pictures. Cut these up. Nope. That has the Int Ranch Mountains. That's the headquarters. So they, oh they cipher everything. Oh, so you're only left with whatever yeah. you have left. And you're giving things up because you don't want to, you just want to leave. So you're kind of like, okay, fine. I don't really need that picture. It just sucks. Um so I get there and then I see my mom and I'm like, but she has a big smile on her face and she's so happy to see me because oh, I haven't seen her since I left the Int Ranch and went to Clearwater. Oh my God. So that was also another weird thing. Yeah. She hasn't seen me since for like a while. So I just see her and I'm like, oh, she's happy. And I was like, oh, hi, mom. And as I'm running and I'm hugging her and holding her, I see Taryn Rinder, which is Mike Rinder's daughter. But she's like in the ethics, so to speak, like the uh, chaplain department. Oh, no. And she was there as her buddy to make sure that everything went smooth with me seeing and that my mom didn't get interbulated, which is like another Scientology term for feeling like negative about me. Oh, she needed God. to make sure my mom as an executive didn't have any negative you know, everything went smooth. Oh my God. So I was like, oh, hi. And so that really ruined that intimate, like, that okay, moment. at least my mom yeah. is here with me when I'm leaving. Yeah. I don't know. And then I was like, tearing to, and I was kind of like, oh, hi. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Yeah. It just felt so weird. Anyway, so then I was from there in a minivan brought, oh, we're bringing you to where you're going to stay for now. And it was with the Burpees, Tom and Lori Burpee, who are Canadians that my mom knew 25 years before that at the Canadian org. Yeah. And they said, oh, well, you know, we're on the OT level. So we were constantly whatever. They have to make up amends and do things oh, for their things. So they, they're going to take me in as, as the burden, take the burden off of my mom. And so they became my guardian, Your I guess. guardian for, family? Uh, yeah. For a minute, for I guess three months or something and until then, I ended up not being able to pay the $350 rent because I was like I don't know how to get a job I don't have my ID it was so hard I'm telling you guys it's not even the basics I didn't even understand what I needed in life oh my, cause... so I was just so lost and I felt comforted I had more fun hanging out with my other friends that also recently or a year before me had left yeah. from the cadet org and stuff so I was eventually was like fine I don't want to pay rent I'll just couch surf with my friends and that's what I did for years I was couch for surfing years. and so were they they were we were all and we just understood and then oh when I could pay or do something i would do it or i'd be cleaning or uh, we always had keep your exchange and so it was like a whole difficult thing of oh. just getting out into the world but you're still surrounded by the only people you know is scientologists literally ex-scientologists no yes SPs. but you're still they're still SPs. relying on all they're still expecting you all to pay your freeloader hey they're all like are you seer members would be like hey you know Catherine or megan sina when are you guys paying your condition when are you getting you guys got to get back on in good standing man you know oh you can't come to the org you're not allowed to come to the org until you paid your freeloader yeah. or you're showing that you're working on it like yeah. things like that they would restrict the fee, seeing your family things like that so but the point is is people go oh well you left when you're 17 yeah physically right and then i'm like but then i didn't really leave so i, I went back in good standings with them i paid the debt did the lower conditions did everything i had to do so my mom was everybody was back oh she's back in good standing but as i was doing the back in good standing i was also learning the world and i was kind of like wonder if i could just type up my conditions and do it and i'd probably get approved i know yeah. how to do it now you know so i did all that i got in da 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 but at the same time i was also being like i can't believe i'm back at the Fort Harrison Hotel in Clearwater, where I was like, there was a one specific time I was up in the ballroom on the 10th floor after being back in good standings, back mm -hmm. there. And like I was visiting my sister or something, and she was still in the Sea Org. This is when you're Yeah, when I'm out, out but out. I'm back in good standings like 10 years yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And like maybe, like what, what literally does that mean? Eight, good, eight years ago. But what does even, good standings mean? Like I got, I, I'm no longer on the verge of being declared and that I've paid my freeloader bill for all the courses and the auditing I got while I was un a minor. You still have under to pay for those? I, yeah. Why? So now we have protest signs and stuff that say, like, freeloader oh, bill is a scam. You don't have to yeah, pay it. If you that. leave, don't worry. Yeah, like, just So leave. these are the things we're saying. Just yeah. get out and we'll help you. Um, yeah. So if I wanted to join Scientology. After all this? <laughs> 
something's wrong with this guy. Um, would they take everything in my bank account? No, they wouldn't. They would just change your mind thinking, oh, I should be giving a certain percentage of this. How much percentage of your bank? It's not a percentage. It's whenever there's an event, which is like every two months. You just give them your money? They demand. It's like, this is the new release. And did you get your basis? And they literally train us to be like, will that be cash, credit card, or check? Check, cash, or no, credit card? Yeah, no. seriously. I'm too frugal. They're not going to get nothing. But they would. No. Because you know why? Me. Your mind not would have me. been no. altered. No. No. Okay, steamy, wavy. Zenu's coming. There. Zenu's coming. This I'm is the gonna Zenu. Get, this is going to help. Yo, yo, Zenu's coming. Um, the time uh, hour has passed. Can we plug your music? Anything? I want you to promote whatever you want to promote. Uh, just go to the YouTube channels on YouTube, all the SPTV channels for all the people that are telling their stories. Yeah. If you go to my channel, Lara FM, L A R A F M S P T V or L F M T V, um, you'll find all the other people that I've chatted with and so on. Um, you'll see you we're all connect like we're all a community now. Yeah. And the thing is it's so cool people who support this and understand it more and more are yeah. like I'm I'm part of the S P T V community. But so, so you have really a good you have a good support a system. Yeah, because hey, it's very clear. You're either for Scientology yeah. or you're not. Okay. There's no. Do you think I'm there's for, no fucking. Do you think I'm for or against? Against. But I just asked you if I were to join. Then that would be good because you could infiltrate. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still against. Can, can I get your homie? Do you think your homie will hop on the podcast? Hell yeah! Your homie that I just totally met briefly? defender of ants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He absolutely. That, would. He, he would. He was I mean, like, yeah, if you he tell totally if you would. tell him that it's fun, it's chill. He, no, he he saw streets LA. Oh, so too. he's he, yeah. So he, he knows like, cool. about me. Yeah, he was like he was. So like, some of your peoples know about me. Where it must be that LA thing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Will you were help? you born in LA? No, San Diego. But I don't want to say too much because I okay. don't want to, you know, I don't want to be declared. Okay, 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 okay. They get how what they get. They get what they LA? get. How long have you what? been in LA? Twenty years by now. He's basically LA native. You ain't get you ain't get nothing from me. So I was born. You ain't get nothing. My mother. This is part of this. I know the hour's over. Yeah. No, no, my, no. I'm just. I'm. I'm giving a message to them. I Scientology. Think they, know. they ain't. You ain't getting none of my bank account information. I'll tell you that you much get for sure. None of it. That's for damn sure. Stay away. That would be funny if they were like, no, the no, no. They're, like, no. they're not getting, his, no. His current amount. Mm-mm. No. Don't even bother so showing up around here either. There's a thing we talk I about human, human trafficking and child trafficking. And people go, well, what do you mean? We don't see it. And da, 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 da. And it's like, well, how do kids end up in the Sea Org then? Like, and so part of that is like my whole family is from Canada. Why was I born Mm-hmm. While my whole family's from Canada, why was I born in 1986 in Hollywood at now called, it's called the Mama Shelter Hotel. Damn. You know where the Mama Shelter? Where's what? Where is that On Wilcox and Selma. Okay, yeah, I know. The Mama's oh, yeah, like a yeah. cute little bougie yeah, yeah, new yeah, hotel. Yeah, that yeah, pop, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a, a line, the, yeah. but it's like a cool little line. Yeah. Right, Mama Shelter, whatever. It's near Staples. It's near the office supply. Yeah. Place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Staples. A yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, thing and there's a cop station there. I was born in room 516. Wow. And that building in 1986 was owned by, they was bought by Scientologists, donated from Scientologist money to buy that building for the the celebrity center that used to be on La Brea. Mm-hmm. So that was for the staff. And so they shipped my mother while she was six months pregnant from Canada to have her live there. For, like, come on, let's be real. I have, have friends now who have children and I'm going like, holy crap, a mother knows everything. Like they know what they, they they're planning this. Mm-hmm. And so when I put myself in that perspective, I was like, Oh, my mom was having me in L.A. That's because crazy. they were having her as part of the new. It was a mission to have my mom and dad and my family move over to the U.S. to be the I- executives. And so when they had me, they call. I guess I learned I'm an anchor baby. That's crazy. You heard about that? I'm an anchor baby. That's so crazy. and that makes sense now. So I do feel very you're half blessed American now, but, and half. But you're Canadian. blessed. You're out. I'm so happy. Are I you happy people now? I am the freest and the happiest I've ever been. So a little, uh, one last piece of advice for anyone who, who's thinking about leaving. Uh, what, what, what will you t- give them a message? The fear of leaving is uh, made by the Sea Org and by Scientology. 
Uh, so it seems so difficult. It really feels fearful to leave and it feels like, oh my God, I'm betraying all my friends and da da da. But the truth is, is once you're out here in, in, in a beautiful world where there's a huge community, especially right now, there's like, this is the best time to leave. Um, you, there's nobody that doesn't understand the way you're feeling. So just whenever you have the moment, you can literally, if you physically just walk out and leave, you can, I guarantee you can ask anybody in LA, any person you see walking out of the building, any non-Scientologist, I'm trying to leave Scientology. Can you please help me? There's some Google number, SPTV, something. If you just do that, somebody will help you. So there's a lot of people and help meaning people will give you love and support. They're going to say, what do you want? What do you need? And it's going to feel uncomfortable and weird, but so beautiful and loving. So I feel like just do it. Just get out. The fear is made up. Uh, when you're out, you're going to feel even stronger and stronger than most strong, the, the most free that you've ever been. Let's clearly. plug your music again. So, um, Lara FM, Lara FM. On Spot music. You on Spotify? Yep. Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. All right. Mostly YouTube. I upload when I do a song. I normally yeah. do a little music video with it. So you got let me produce. Let me produce a song for you. Love that. I sing. I, you I can sing, sing. I make uh, stuff as I hear. The you song. like Sade? Oh, I love that. Oh, my God. Oh my God! Shot is the Wait shit. till you hear my vocals. Sh oh, I, Wait I'm sure. I already know. I already know. I already know. I already know. In that mood, and here oh, we go. I already know. And I free, and I can make it right there. Right on the there, spot. you could just I, I hear it and I go, mm, I know what I'm feeling. Oh wow! I so already I know. So I can literally make not just a song with you, but but just perhaps a, a little wow. mixtape oh, or something. There you go. You heard it first. Um, support and um, have the courage to do the right thing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's preparing. He's practicing. Zenu vibes. Hiding in the crevices, in the coral premises. In my neverland, like Peter Pan, checking messages. I feel like a kid. It's a way that you grow when you let them go. On the edge of plateaus, when they push you fall so low. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a silhouette that you'll forget a shadow in the dark. A second part of deck that shuffle with the cards I'm a boy TC to heart Like a monk upon the ledge And I'm trying to do my part Before departing from the edge I'm Time on this land, try cheating on the clock if you can't dismiss.